Good morning. It's another beautiful Saturday morning. Had some thoughts this week. I thought I'd share them with you. So here we go with another episode of Tractor Time with Jonah. So I had an experience this week with at my corporate job that kind of had me thinking, thinking uh, all week about it. Um, so I haven't had the best health lately. Just some personal things that have uh, been an issue for a while now, but lately they've been getting worse. Or not necessarily worse, but just been a problem. And uh, so that's what we're gonna talk about, but we're off, so. Nothing COVID related, nothing serious, like life threatening or anything. Just stuff that's made it difficult to function. Energy issues, stuff like that. But I'm seeing doctors and we've always been, we've, you know, felt like we're not doing anything about it. We are. Sometimes it's worse than others. But I was talking to my coworker the other day about it because I took some time off early in the week and hated to miss more work and I took a day off you know I came in and if I felt like I was a health risk to my coworkers I wouldn't come into work just something like that but, and I was talking to him about how I was feeling, how I didn't feel, my energy levels were just really low, I was kind of dragging and really hard to focus and some other things, but he said something to me, and this is what has just been on my mind. He said, well, what are you doing here? Why don't you go home? Uh, you're not gonna get an award for being tough. And it was that phrase that really just made me go, huh, he's right. Never have gotten an award for being tough. And not physically tough, but mentally tough, you know? Uh, <clears throat> but mentally tough and I don't like to feel weak. I don't think any of us do. And so I, one of the reasons I push in life is because I don't want to be weak. I don't want to appear weak. But more than that, it made me think about my time I spent with my grandfather on my mother's side. I didn't really know my grandfather on my father's side. He died while I was, when I was five. I have a memory of him sitting at the dining room table eating rice and milk. I don't remember his voice, I don't remember him ever saying anything to me, but I remember that, oddly enough. And I remember he died, I remember there was a funeral. But my grandfather on my mother's side, he... I spent a lot of time with him when I was about 15, maybe end of 14, 14, 15. I went to work for him and he at the time was retired-ish. He was a man that always had to stay busy and was always working on something. He did a lot of woodworking and my grandmother was, uh, she did crafts and home decor things and they'd go to these boutiques and sell them. And so I worked with him on that, cutting things on the bandsaw and sanding, a lot of sanding. But I remember, but we also, I also worked for him for this, he worked for a construction company and he was hired to go around and clean up these construction sites, pick up all the scrap wood and materials that were left uh, just as they were finishing up these homes. 
And so he paid me to go with him and help him do that. We'd load up, load up his pickup truck with all the junk and haul it to the dump and spend all day at these sites just picking up garbage all day long. I remember it being hard work. I remember being hot and tired a lot. But I remember the most, the thing that I remember the most about it is what a hard worker Grandpa was. He just worked hard. He was as miserable as I was, I know he was. We had some conversations in the, in the truck as we drove around. And, but he would push through it. And I, that's something that I've appreciated learning, a lesson that I've learned that it's okay to be uncomfortable. It's okay to hate the moment, but you push through it and you'll get through it. And you'll appreciate that you did in the end. It was always rewarding. He always made sure to point out, look what we did today. Good job, that was tough. I'm proud of you, thanks for being so helpful and working hard with me. And so when this coworker said this to me, it reminded me of that and, and why I try to push myself try to push myself into, it's not about being, wanting to be tough, it's just about, you have to be tough, you have to push through that hardness and, and that uncomfortableness. And as I've been out here in Missouri, the humidity is insane. And I don't, it's probably worse than other parts of the world, but it gets pretty bad. <laughs> a couple of mornings that I've checked, the humidity has been 100%. And you feel it. But one of the th side effects is that you're just sweating like a pig. And you're hardly moving, you know? It doesn't take much to, to work up a sweat out here. And it's uncomfortable and miserable and I've made comments in past vlogs about, oh, we'll get used to it, and people have always been prompt to, to comment, you're never gonna get used to it, and it'll never go away. So it's, it's, it's hard to push through those things, and you have to be tough, you have to keep moving, and when you don't feel good, you know, you gotta recognize the importance of resting and, and health and things like that. Don't get me wrong, that's not what I'm saying, but even then sometimes it's okay to push a little bit, to push through the emotional pain, the mental pain, and the physical pain and, and push yourself and, and be tough when you don't wanna be. You absolutely don't wanna be and you don't feel like you have it in you, but sometimes you just do it anyway. Anyway. It reminds me of, you know, Trish will often tell the kids, come on, you gotta be farm tough. This is tough, this is emotionally challenging, this is emotionally difficult, this is physically challenging, of course. Be farm tough. Um, I have sensitive kids, especially my son. And I want to be sensitive to that sensitivity. I, want, I think that that can be a quality, but I don't want it to be a hindrance to him. And so, that's a, been a challenge to help him be tough without losing that sensitive soul. Because I think that's important to have. 
I guess to sum it all up, what I'm trying to say is, yeah, no, you're not gonna get an award for being tough, but be tough anyway. It's okay to be tough. It's okay that things are hard. And challenge everybody to share if you got some experiences related to this or thoughts on this topic, whatever this is. Leave them in the comments below. Let's share. Let's. I think the world could benefit from us, from more people sharing. We're all experiencing life in a unique way. And this is just my experience and what I've learned. So thanks for joining me on another episode of Tractor Time with Jonah. And hopefully there'll be another one.